Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you my March favorites. So let's get started. I have some makeup products and some hair products and some nail polishes, so I have a variety of things to show you. The first thing I'm going to start off with is a repeat, and it is the Sonia Kashuk Eye Makeup Remover. And I just think this is so great. I love it. It just works so very well for the price. And this has lasted me so long because I don't use it um, to take off my makeup. Like, you know, I don't go to the mirror and just take off exactly what I have on. I use it after I wash my face. So it's lasted me so long and it works so well. So it has to be a repeat. Second thing is this brush and sponge cleanser from Sonia Kashuk as well. And this has made cleaning my brushes so much easier. I used to clean the brushes, my brushes using the Michelle Fan method, which is using um, some Dawn and olive oil and kind of just washing them with that, with that and brushing them. And it used to take a really long time to wash my brushes because I would wash maybe 15 of my brushes at a time and that would be really time consuming and take a while. So I kind of get lazy to wash my brushes because it took forever. But with this, um, it's just so easy. You just dampen your brush with warm water and you spray this on there liberally. And you just run it with your fingers and it gets all the blush, all the powders, all the creams out of your brushes really fast. And then you just let them air dry. So it's made it my life a lot easier and works really well. It's effective and for the price, it's just awesome that you know, it's an affordable brush cleaner that really works. So I like this. Um, next product is a hair product. And it is the Moroccan oil. This is the oil treatment for all hair types. Whichever that, that is because I know that there's different ones. But um, I bought this a long time ago back in the day when my hair was blonde. Um, my hairdresser told me to... Uh, use it after I got out of the shower and towel dried my hair and then put this in there and I would do that and it wouldn't really um, I wouldn't really see anything different as far as my hair go went you know after I styled and stuff um, so the way I started using it afterwards was I would use it on my dry hair so I'd get some and then put it on my dry hair right before I flat ironed it and it makes my hair so silky soft I was just like, wow. <laughs> so now I'm starting to use it and now it's like almost gone. And it was in my drawer for like months still being full and now I have like used it all. So this is awesome. I totally recommend it, especially if you have dry hair. This is going to work really well. Next thing is this Secret Wonderland from Bath & Body Works lotion or the scent. Um, I got this because my cousin was wearing it and it smelled really good so I went the very next day and I got it and I have gotten so many compliments just by wearing this. People think that it's a perfume and not um, a bathroom. They think it's a perfume. They don't think it's like lotion and stuff. And so this just, I don't know how to explain the smell. I'll just read what the back says. It's, um, it's a thrilling blend of luscious strawberry, frosted jasmine petals, and white amber, inspired by a world you never dreamed existed. So I went out because she said that it was like one of their winter lines, so it's not like one of the permanent colors, it's a limited edition type of thing, so I went and I got everything. I got this, I got the, the other really deep moisturizing lotion, I got the spray, the, the, um, everything. And including this, the perfume. I never buy these, never, when it comes to like, you know, bath products. But I love the scent so much that I got the perfume because I knew that this was gonna last me a while. I've already run out of so many things. And every time I go to my doctor's appointment, the nurses always compliment me on the same fragrance and they're like, oh, I already asked you, sorry. And they're just like, what is it that you're wearing because it smells so good, your perfume smells so good. So. Lots of compliments on that. I don't know if it's still available at Bath & Body Works, but it was amazing. If it ever comes out again next year, it'd be worth, to, worth it to get it. 
The next thing I'm going to talk about are nail polishes and the first one is of course this black shadow nail polish. It is so cool. I was looking on the hunt I was on the hunt for this for like two months. Finally my husband found it and he got it for me and he surprised me and I was so happy. And I don't have it on right now, but basically um a lot of you probably have already heard of this. You just put it on your finger and then it cracks and it makes like this type of effect on your nail. So it's really fun using this and trying it with a whole bunch of different colors underneath. You know, metallics, beige, um, real natural tones and really bright tones. So far my favorite are wearing it with really bright colors underneath. So it gives it a really fun, cool effect. Second nail polish that I've liked all this month is Violetta and it's from Sonia Kashuk and it is just an awesome shade of purple. I don't know if it picks it up on camera, but it's it's kind of like a a fall kind of purple. It doesn't really show up on camera. It kind of looks really bright, but I don't know. It's a you would have to see it in person um, to know what I'm talking about. But I really love the shade of purple. It's just so nice. It goes with a lot of clothes that I have, so perfect. And my favorite top coat is Sesh Feet. I don't know if you heard about this too, because this is pretty popular. But um, the reason why I like it is because it dries super duper fast. I have the habit of painting my nails at night right before I go to bed. So before I would paint my nails and then fall asleep and I'd wake up and my nails were all nasty and had like fabric print on them from sleeping. <laughs> and so um, I started to use this and what made the difference is because I did what I always do, I fall, I fell asleep. The next morning my nails were still looking really good and like nothing had happened to them at all so I was like whoa this is great stuff because it dried so quick and so I'm already almost out of it but the only thing I have to say about it is that it kind of dries out really, really fast so you have to use it because mine is kind of getting thick and it's towards the end of the bottle so it's kind of getting thick I don't know if you can tell but yeah, so it dries out really quick. You kind of have to use it all the time. Next item is a perfume. And I've been really liking this Adora perfume by Kat Von D. It's her newest perfume. And I really like the way it smells. It smells fresh and almost like fruit, I want to say. I don't have the description. I'm really bad at describing scents. But this is a really like citrusy really fresh type of perfume and so I've been liking that because I don't like things that are musky because they'll give me a headache right away okay now on to the makeup I've been loving this cream color base by MAC and it's in color pearl just for that highlight on the cheekbone on your brow bone on your nose on the cupid's bow it just gives you the nicest sheen it doesn't look like glitter just gives it a glow and that's what I like about this it's not too too overpowering it kinda just makes it look like your skin has a glow it's from within and I really like that it doesn't really look like makeup makeup it kinda gives a natural glow depending on how you use it my favorite concealer for this month has been the Sonia Kashuk Hidden Agenda and as you can see I've already used up this whole color here I've been mixing these two to hide my circles and these two to go around my nose and you know just hide the redness because this one kind of has a green tint to it and this one kind of has like a salmon tint to it. So green counteracts um, red and orange or salmon counteracts blues and purple so this has been working really well. So I love it. I'm probably going to have to get some more soon because I don't have any more of that color. And these two palettes have been my favorite for this month. They're from Sonia Kashuk. This one's the Ion Color Palette and this is the Ion Neutral Palette. So it's, you know, any girl, if you like color, you're going to get, get this one. And if you like neutrals, you're going to get this one. So there's an option for every type of girl. And the great thing is that they have the looks on the inside which are in each palette, included in each palette. So these are awesome for, you know, beginners, for 
makeup artist, everything. And it's fun to play with. And these are all mostly mats. These are so easy to wear for every day. So I really like these. These are fun for like, you know, spring because they have these colors. But these are also great too for those days that you, you know, just want to stay neutral. You don't want to do anything crazy or, you know, just for your outfit. So I really like these. They're so easy to use and they're affordable. I mean, $20 and you get 12 eyeshadows plus 3 looks. That is just awesome right there. So it would be worth it to buy it. The last thing is this new Sonia Kashuk foundation brush. And if you can see, it's tapered at the end, so it's pointy. I've been using this almost every day for concealer. Um, I find it very helpful as far as concealer goes because... When I'm applying my concealer, it just it just goes on flawlessly when I'm using this. It doesn't leave any streaks, so it blends in with my skin very well. It almost looks like I'm not even wearing makeup. Um, I was so amazed when I used it with the Hidden Agenda concealer. Um, I put it on. I put concealer on before I put my foundation sometimes, and so I've been doing that lately. I've been putting on the concealer first and then foundation. So I was putting on my concealer first. And I was just amazed how it just blended in with my skin. You couldn't see where my makeup started or where my skin started. It was just flawless application. And I, you know, I asked my husband, he's my, he's my, like, guinea pig or tester or whatever. I asked him, does it look like I have makeup on? Can you see my makeup? And he got really close to my face and I was, like, even kind of scared. Like, no, don't, don't come so close. But he couldn't even tell that I had concealer on. So this is awesome for that. It also works really well for foundation at buffing it in the skin. I mean, you can see how it works and like how it gets in here so easily. I mean, it's awesome. And it gets in right here on my under eyes and I put it on top of my eyes too. And just the shape itself is just so great, like it's perfect for foundation and concealer so I've been using this every single day ever since I bought it so no complaints here this is an awesome awesome brush so that's it guys that's my favorites and I hope you guys found this helpful or enjoyable and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye